So, um, I've had people ask about kind of getting goats caught up and loading them in the trailer. And so I'm gonna do a video on that today about just kind of in general how to catch a goat. Now, one of the things I think that people make as a mistake when you're catching goats is that they wanna come right out and catch them and that's what they're doing because we're all impatient and we're all in a hurry. If, if every time you come out with the leashes on, all you do is catch them up and shove them in the trailer, remember this needs to be a fun and loving experience for a goat. So I always come out, I'll kind of greet everybody, I'll, I'll, I'll pet them, I'll give everybody their love. I got the leashes and the, and the collars in my hand. They know what's going on. In fact, they get excited about it. But I don't, I don't get all in their face and get aggressive about it right away. The other thing I notice, if you want to come over here, is there is a way, there is a way to kind of easily put a goat uh, a collar on a goat with horns. I always put my hand here and then I just wrap there and then it's ready to go. That way you're not like hovering over the top of their horns. That That's when just the pickup of a head can, you know, catch you. So again, I'll always just kind of catch a goat like this, pet them up, put the leash in my other hand and then roll it through and now it's on. And it's kind of like it happens before they know it. So it's a, just a simple way to do it. So when I'm catching goats, I'm gonna approach everybody. Some guys don't mind getting caught, some guys do. Let's see Ridge, for example. Ridge is one of those that sometimes he'll stay away. I always approach a goat with my hands open, but, but so now I got him. Normally I would have had a leash in my hands, but these guys know, remember goats are, are creatures of routine. So I put their leashes on top of this every time, or, or, or their collars and I just get everybody all leashed up, then I'm gonna catch them and I'm gonna haul them at each time, and I just try to follow the exact same system so they're used to it, so they're not guessing what I'm gonna do. They know why I'm here, they know how I expect them to behave. When they don't, they know what I'm gonna do, so it's, it's just one of those things that just giving them a routine is the easy way to catch them. And the last thing is, my goats get loaded almost every weekend all year long. So that means my goats get loaded and loan loaded like 50 times a year. When people have trouble loading goats and catching goats, most of the time, I personally believe, it's because they load goats four or five times a year. They don't know what they're doing, they're not used to it, they're scared, it's something new for them. So you should load your goats a lot um, and that'll just make it way easier. So because we're getting ready to go out, everybody's all fired up and playful. Um, but uh, what I do when I'm loading is I always load from most submissive to most aggressive. And the reason I do that is because when a safe goat's in the truck that you're asking another goat to get into, that pecking order is really important. If you put your most aggressive goat in there first, the other goats aren't gonna wanna get in there because they're scared of him. So I'll always go from the most submissive to the most aggressive, the most aggressive goat I always load last. So I'm gonna gather them up and I'll usually do them in groups of twos or threes and everybody's used to my system. Um, so they're just gonna kinda do what they're gonna do. So anyway. The other thing, when you're leading two goats together, they still want to walk in their order. Chester is more aggressive than Dewey, so I need to let him walk up front. All right, so I've taught you guys how to use this system, and there's lots of variations of this system. But the nice thing about having this on both ends, it's just really easy. So when I come up to my truck, I just quickly do this and now I got a, a held goat. I'm not tying stuff. My kids can easily do it. It just makes it really simple to control a goat fast. Uh, the other thing is a lot of goats like Chester, you'll see him start shivering when I'm getting ready to put him in there. I, I personally believe that they shiver out of two reasons. Goats have a tendency to get anxious and they also have a tendency to get really excited just like a hunting dog. He is getting ready to go on a run. And for him, he's gonna fight to be at the front of the string. Now he doesn't have, he doesn't have the inner jerk to be a true alpha. 
but he has the strength and the will to do it. So that's how he gets it done. And I think for him, every time that's anxiety for him, he's, he's not aggressive. He's, he gets it done for heart. So anyway, so by the way too, interesting part is, you know, you get them around dogs, they, they look and howdy. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see kind of body language around dogs. Um, so my goats are, my goats are just, they're tuned to know other people's dogs and they, they know to be wary, but this is how they react to them. Generally, they'll just kind of be at ready position. They'll always face danger. And um, this is kind of how I've trained my goats to just know other people's dogs are something to watch, not something to go after and not something to run from. So anyway, kind of an opportune man. So let's load them up. So these two load so easy. They're not gonna be good examples of how I look, they like to load goats because I mean, they are, but they'll just load super easy. I don't, they don't need any help with them. So what I do is I just take the leash off first and I just tell Chester to get in. Okay, and he'll just load on his own. I'll do the same with Dewey. And I load all my goats. Come on, Dewey, get in. So Dewey is the most submissive. So I just broke my rule and that's why he's nervous. Now the other thing, my goats can climb through this. So every goat I load, I have to close this, do that. He'll assume his position back there. He's trying to get back there right now. So that's a good example to me. I was kind of distracted by the camera, um, but you always load submissive at the back and then everybody else stacks from the front. So we'll go grab a couple more goats. Ridge and Thorn don't load quite as easily. Um, you're gonna see them kind of hesitate but I give them a chance to load on their own. And all my goats are beyond trying to kind of force them, but I'll show you, I'll try to show you how I do it with them when a goat won't load. If you would actually come here and help me, Melissa, just kind of hold Thorn. Um, so what we'll do, Dewey, back, 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 um, is what I'll do is with a goat that doesn't want to load, I'll pick up one foot and I'll put it on the on the bed. Come here, buddy. These guys just aren't used to this. So I'll put one foot up there and then I'll force him up. So that's how I get a goat to load. Get in there. That's how I get a goat to load that doesn't know how to load. And what I'll do is I'll put somebody up here who's on the leash. I'll put that foot up and then I'll, I'll force them to load. Now goats don't like to be loaded that way. Once they start learning what you're asking of them, then I'll come down. And Ridge was somebody who didn't like to load. And I always remember, goats like to be led by a, a leash, not by their collar. But now, now that he's trained, all, he knows what's expected of him, and he knows if he doesn't, I'm gonna do what I just showed you. I'm gonna, you know, put his foot up there and I'm gonna jerk him up there, which he doesn't want to do. So, go ahead, Rich. Go ahead. So he's gonna hesitate for a minute. Load, good boy. And then, <laughs> his head just didn't go in the right direction. And then, so that's a goat that's nervous to load, but loads pretty easy. So that's kind of how that works. All right. Eli, come on, buddy. Come on, Eli. Come on, Eli. Hurry up. Come on, bud. Come here, buddy. Good boy. We're messing with them. <laughs> I'm just gonna load Mercy and we'll go. Okay. Come on, get in. All right, so one last thing. So you can see, I don't tie up my goats. And I have big, horned, aggressive alpines with multiple, you know, alphas in this group. They figure it out in there, just like they figure it out in the pasture. And the reality is they're safer, in my opinion, untied back there than they are tied, just simply because they can do stupid stuff with ropes and get in trouble. 
So I used to tie them. I had a friend encourage me to look at the alternative. He's done it for 10 years untied and he has horned goats and unhorned goats and he just throws them in the back of the truck and they ride and I found exactly the same thing. And so I've now gone to that system full time. Now Merciless is now trying to get into a bevy of horns but he's not scared of anybody, but he'll hesitate. So we'll just see how easily he loads. All right, Merce, come on, load up, come on, good boy. So see how he kind of just pushed everybody in? So that's why I load Merciless last, because he's the most aggressive. So you can see how that you can see how that works. So six big goats, really honestly room for one more in the back of a truck. Kind of interesting. So also the other thing is don't load your goats till you're ready to go. If anything's gonna happen, it's gonna happen in the driveway. As soon as you drive, I've driven behind somebody hauling goats, they kind of go into this like little zen place. They they get really, you know, stare off into space. They find their little spot. And don't forget, goats like to be packed in. That's how I knew how many goats I could put is that when I put all the goats in there and then I get out real quick, I'd look and they're all smashed into the corner. They like leaning against each other. They like being close to each other. But if you load goats, this is a very anxious time for them. They're all charged up. They're getting ready to go. Nobody's tired. And now we're sitting in the driveway loading panniers? No way. You load them last and you get on the road immediately. So 